we take a look at some of the most innovative working robots. We start off with the Yard Droid, and most robots are oriented to one task, so this particular one takes it to the next level. It can mow lawns, irrigate plants, kill weeds, blow leaves, and offer a 24-7 security service like the T-800. Well, maybe I exaggerated about the Terminator part, but it does send intruder alerts. It can also supposedly plow the sidewalk on those long, cold winter days. But it would probably take a while since the machine is not very big. So what does it cost to have all these services? Well, the company estimates that it should cost around $2,500. At number 9, the Squid. Who knew that a box picking robot can actually be more interesting than its task? Or even this YouTube channel? This squid can literally go anywhere and carry boxes up to 35 pounds. It has real-time analysis to dynamically learn problems created in one warehouse and apply a resolution to all warehouses in the network. So it can learn to become more efficient, and I'm sure these types of robots are going to become more popular in the future. Unlike the other robots, this one can go rogue and escape the user at will. Now this next configuration is a little bit weird, and this represents a solution to overhead manipulation. It is designed to carry a robotic manipulator arm, and can be used in a wide variety of applications including transportation and vertical farming. Multiple units can be used simultaneously, and each unit can support a high amount of weight. So the next time you hear weird noises in your roof, it very well could be this block machine building the next AI regime. Moving on we get to the blade bug and inspecting wind turbine blades can be a very difficult job. So this six-bladed blade bug was invented as a collaboration project. It has vacuum padded feet, ultrasonic sensors, and surface mapping tools to inspect turbine blades. It's not exactly the fastest thing in the world, but the robot can be used in conjunction with a flying drone, and then be deployed for local problem areas. Now obviously this is a pretty tough human job, and the technology could reduce the cost of current blade inspection techniques by up to 50%. But luckily, it won't be taking over the planet anytime soon. At number 6, the Okibo. These particular robots are probably not going to replace the human worker anytime soon. But nevertheless, they are still pretty intriguing contraptions. Both the painter and plaster variants are fully autonomous. They have a multitude of sensors and cameras, and this allows them to basically scan a room and calculate the best routes within seconds. Obviously they are very expensive, they are not perfect, and it still requires humans for masking and taping. So let's just be glad that robots don't have a high degree of adaptivity just yet. At number 5, the RoboCut. Once again, ETH Zurich have come out with a very impressive robot. This particular one integrates control calculations within an algorithm, and it can make an incredible shape with a hot wire cutter. Targeted bending means that the wire can create complex shapes, such as this rabbit, with just 10 cuts. Ultimately, this can lead to producing polystyrene molds for concrete parts, and even create more complex facades and modular building systems. But it cannot create its own sculptures just yet, so hopefully it won't be replacing artists anytime soon. Now we are starting to get into the good stuff, and this one could lay out fiber optic cable. There are a lot of people in the world without high speed internet, and the data rate per person is only increasing. Facebook and a number of other companies have spent years developing a robot which can lay out fiber optic cable. Now, there are quite a few problems associated with designing this kind of machine, since you have to clear conductors and carry a considerable amount of cable. So the machine comprises of a drive, lift, and rotation subsystem, which gives it a high degree of freedom. It's also automated and outfitted with a vision system so it can automatically clear obstacles. Ultimately, the robot can place around two kilometers of cable every day, and this takes a lot of the human risk factor out of the job. That's number three, and we get into remote controlled robots. This one is pretty heavy duty and can get into tricky areas. Developed by Kairi, it's specifically built for nuclear accident response. It can do automated tasks such as extinguishing fires, moving radioactive drums, and manipulating valves. But it is important to note that the robot is not invincible, as it's susceptible to extreme levels of radiation, which can damage circuits and sensors. But it's still good for a disaster scenario. Another really neat remote controlled system which I mentioned earlier is the Guardian GT. This one is also heavy duty and it can lift payloads up to a thousand pounds. And it acts as a natural extension of the operator's real world arm movements. This type of VR integration with haptic feedback 
is just in its infancy, and we'll probably see more advanced designs in the future. At number 2, the Hadrian. A new type of machine may very well build your next house, and it can lay around 200 bricks an hour. The Hadrian X was created by Fast Track Robotics, and it's basically a telescopic boom, which mounts to an excavator or a truck. A 3D CAD model is fed into the computer, and the machine places bricks, mortar, and adhesive to the structure. So it's kind of like a 3D printer. The robot has already built impressive multi-story structures, but it's probably not going to take away all bricklayer jobs, and that's probably a good thing. Anyways, the company plans to develop the robot more so that it can place a thousand bricks an hour, and I do suspect that they are going to try to get into other types of building materials as well. So up to this point, it's kind of debatable whether or not these robots are taking away real human jobs, or whether or not it's just a transfer of jobs. I hope it's the latter, but anyways, this number one position is something that I do think that's needed. One startup company has replaced their entire indoor farm with machines. And this is not a crazy thing, as food shortages are a real problem in many parts of the world. So the system consists of many lights and robots which can move the walls around. And at the same time, an AI system manages the water temperature and light. But this AI can adapt to conditions and produce better yields at a faster rate. The conditions are at a point where it can produce 400 times more food per acre than a traditional farm. But we have to keep in mind that this is not replacing every crop out there. Nevertheless, the farms are non-GMO and there are no herbicides or pesticides used. The company has already received $400 million in funding and I'm sure that these types of vertical AI farms are going to be a revolutionary thing for growing food. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.